step for us and we got to now we still got a long way to go we got to work on it and we will but uh, I'm proud of these guys are champions of this bowl game and and now we're going to grow from there yeah I'd say doing it in Detroit is probably pretty is really special I mean to have fans here to have so many alumni here I mean it's such such a great day to have a bowl game you know you have Christmas and then you have the day after which everyone's kind of coming down and then there's the next day what do you do go to a bowl game right <laughs> watch a team play and so there are tons of people from Kalamazoo that made the trip and Play the way we did in front of them with their support. I mean, it, was, it, it all came together, you know. And uh, you know, this is it's a big deal. I always told them. I just told them again. You know, it's it's all about your side mirrors. You know, the the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. You know, the future is now. Like this bowl game matters, and uh, and it'll help us into the off season. Last time we were able to finish the season like this uh, was 2015. You know, 2016 turned out to be pretty good. So uh, we're going to continue to work. We got a long way to go, but. Uh, you know, I hope those guys have a lot of confidence and a lot of hunger going into the offseason. Uh, so we did a good job mixing up zone and man. We played some zone pressures, which is not something we do much, but it made it a little bit less less pressure on our, our safeties and, and some of the new guys that were in there. And uh, so we did make some adjustments. Luckily, we had a lot of time to practice it. So we had our zone pressures, our man pressures, and all our zones ready and oiled up. And, uh, so being able to pick from a large menu, uh, you know, Coach Espo and I thought the defense did a great job of figuring out what those things were. And, and I thought we got off the quarterback really well. And I do think some of those cancellations help woke them up a little bit. You know, like this could this can be canceled quick. You know, and I knew they had they had some guys not playing. They had some portal situations. So I was wondering, I was worried about the other side. Would they have enough? Because if they got an outbreak, I didn't know how many players they had left. You know, so uh, you know, kudos to both sides and their training staffs and their players for being diligent and getting getting to this this game and both being able to field the team and, and have a great game. So it's great. I mean, that's the goal. We've been talking about it. For a long time, you know, four has been the goal, and we won three in the history. 116 years, we won three, and uh, we're and we're here to win four. That's the ultimate goal, and and we've been chanting that at the end of every team meeting since the beginning of August, and it didn't change because we're still getting closer to it. You know, what what happens at the end of this year, the objects in the mirror closer than they appear, matters towards getting to four. You know, it was the second win in the history of our school as far as bowl games go. Uh, this is also the venue that that our ultimate goal will be played at. You know, so um, it was fun to watch them come out and play in this place. Beautiful. I mean, it's just such a beautiful arena to play in. So, uh, you know, so hopefully we have a chance to play here multiple times. You know, it was unbelievable. Um, you know, that, that kid has come in and, and quickly. Transfer players don't always become leaders in your program. Some do. He's one. You know, comes in, shows up, works hard every day. Yeah. Uh, we have a weird three-man rotation because we have three really good backs. You know, and so. You know, so it's a big game for him, and to watch him run go over 100 yards, yeah. uh, you know, protect the ball, see the the vision is just he's got great vision, yeah. you know. And so, uh, so it was I was proud of him, and he got in the end zone a couple times. Mm -hmm. and what a great day for him, yeah. you know, and uh, just humble and uh, hardworking and great student, and uh, you know, just a great representative of our of our program. Uh, it felt surreal, man, um, and going in uh, on Thursday. We uh, went to a museum and just seeing all their faces for the first time, yeah. and my heart was pumping. You know, I, was, I was nervous and hard ready to play then. And uh, but today I calmed down, and I mean it was a it was a great feeling to leave with some of the guys that I came in with yeah. in 2016, and uh, you know see a lot of familiar faces. Man, it was it was great to go out this way. Yeah. We had a chip on our shoulder this game, uh -huh. and uh, we had a guy go down, uh, Ladarius Jefferson. He had COVID. And uh, we just made sure that there was no fall off. You know, the, uh, one of our biggest things we stressed uh, with this new quarterback is uh, bringing pressure, making him uncomfortable in the pocket. So a lot of the things that we ran up front were just based off of, you know, how can we get to the quarterback in the fastest manner? So, you know, without without the edge pressure that was coming up, you know, the middle pressure would be nothing. So, you know, we it was a, a you know, just a team effort across the line, across the D line. So. That was just one thing that we really emphasized about uh, throwing his game off and not letting him get a rhythm. This is huge. Um, it's a championship. So, like, we feel great that we won it. We knew we had to come out here and compete. Uh, things didn't go our way this season. Uh, There's always next season for the guys after us, and, but we're leaving as champions, and it feels great. Uh, I felt like we won the battle up front, and uh, 
once we won that push it battle up front, you know, it was, it was hard for that running back. Uh, credit to the running back, though. He was a good running back. He yeah. was running hard. But uh, I think we won that battle up front, and that made the difference in the game. For sure. Yeah, we emphasize on the D-line being the hammer and not the nail. So, you know, uh, you know, credit to their uh, O-line and their uh, running back. But, you know, one thing we wanted to do is just get penetration yeah. and destruct the backfield as much as we could. So that's one thing that we was trying to emphasize this game. Honestly, I think our team has been a championship team all season. We just had our ups and downs, and you know that's just how life is. You know what I'm saying? That everything is that's how that's just how life goes and stuff like that. And I just I just see the talent that we have, even though we are losing some people. I see the talent that other people don't see. All the talent in the young guys, and we're just going to reload what we just lost. And I feel very confident and very strongly about our young guys that's coming up. That's a really good football team. You know, the team we play has a really good football team. They ran the ball well all season, and they continue to do that. They're great O-line, great running backs, and also the quarterback being able to be efficient with the receivers helps out their whole game. So that was a really good football team, and we were just you know excited to be able to compete because definitely another challenge that they were going to have to overcome right out the gate. you know. And, and they continue to fight after that. They could have just gave in, like you said, and considered it a backbreaker, but they continue to fight and the offense continue to try to put points up and the defense continue to try to try to stop them. He did really good. I mean, he missed a couple passes or something, but I mean, everybody does. So I don't know what his stats were or whatnot, but just from watching and being on the sidelines with him and hearing him talk to his teammates, and he made some big plays for us. I mean, we wanted Jamal Bell to be an impact player for us this game. He had to be and He made some plays for us like we wanted him to. So that's just another example of the kids fighting, you know, and continue to fight. Sure. It was pretty cool. It's not our first time. Most people don't know, but we, he was actually my head coach, my eighth grade all-star game. Okay. A lot of people know that. <laughs> like, it's a little, a little detail, but yeah, we kind of got a little, you know, camaraderie going on. For early. sure. You know, him being my head coach in, you know, eighth grade. But it's fun. You know, this guy always keeps me in line, and he always, he's a, he's a, he's a leader. He's, he's a motivator. He, Gets the guys going, and you know, came up short today. But you know, I'm proud of this guy. He, he put his all into it, and he gave his all to not only to his program, but you know, to his players and the community. I just really wanted to win it for Bi, like taking over at uh, such a short notice, and um, all these coaches stepping up and stuff, and all these players that stayed when the dust settled with all the changes that were going on. I look at these guys that were in the team room just now, and you know, I think that was my senior team. That was the last college football team I ever got to play with, and those guys are special to me. The guys that stayed, the guys that endured all the BS, put, uh, practicing in the cold and in, uh, in Reno and stuff, they didn't have to do that, but they decided to, they gave, and uh, it sucks we came up short. Yeah, it's, it's been a really good season. We played really tough teams. Everybody know, knew we were good, so we got everybody's best game, and uh, I think that should go. Um, it, it shouldn't go without being noted. Uh, you know, we were we had all the hype to begin with, and yeah. everybody prepared their best for us. And even the O line coach came up and said he had to prepare really hard for our D line and um, and our defense. So um, hats off to them, and thank you to Quick Lane and everybody that sponsored this this whole event for us. This this week has been tons of fun. Being able to spend time with my brothers, it's it's been a great time in Detroit.